Hey family, God bless you guys. So I had a dream a while back that I wanted to share, but I held on to it because of the things that this dream was about. And I wasn't too sure and I didn't want to alarm anybody for, you know, without a reason. I don't want to step out of line. Um, but the Lord has recently kept putting this dream back on my mind. So I figured it was time for me to step forth and share it. So plus he's been speaking to me a lot recently about uh, martyrdom and persecution. And this is exactly what this dream was about so um it, it was a while back you know like a few weeks or so maybe a month um that i've had this dream or when i had this dream so i don't really remember it like word for word, for word but i have it all written down so i'm just reading and then um go into explain everything that's all so so in this dream it, it was very very interesting and it was a really weird way that the lord revealed this message to me. So, so it starts off, I was sitting in this hotel room and I could see outside of the hotel room, like, like the hotel room was, it was a regular room, but once one side of the room, like one wall was completely gone and I could see outside into a highway was in the center. And then there was woods or a forest on one side and forest on another side so as i'm staring out and at into this uh openness of this like wilderness area um this bear comes running out of the woods chasing a giant bee so this this bee was huge like it was probably about the size of my head or so so and it was like a bumblebee. So the, the bear is chasing the bee. And like the bee was like just trying to get away from it. And I was like thinking like like I was rooting for this bee to, to get away from this bear. As I'm watching this whole ordeal of the bear chasing the bee. And like the bear or the bee was would would run would fly one way and the bee or the bear was chasing after the bee and then the bear or the bee would turn quickly and evade the bear and then the bear would go back after it the other direction and then the bee would turn quickly again away from the bear and it this kept happening like a couple uh, a few times until one point at one point it seemed like the bee slow down or something like that and it turned too fast or and it ended up and I was like oh no like this bear the bear is gonna or the bee's gonna get eaten by that bear so the bee got caught it, it flew it right into the bear and the bear grabbed it with his hands and as soon as they caught it it turned upside down and it starts chowing down on this bee eating it alive and it was like eating it from its thorax down like its butt down and like you, you could see, I could see that the bee is in agony it's alive it's getting eaten and it's like guts like intestines and stuff was just gush flying all over the place all over the ground and I'm thinking like oh this is uh, extremely raw and just vulgar scene right now like there's just guts and stuff everywhere it's, it's a mess so like it was not easy to watch so then something really strange happened at that point because as the bear like the bear sits down and it's just like all happy like I just ate this bee and but I see the the bee now in it's spirit i see the spirit of the bee like it was see-through so i knew it was, i knew it was the, the, the bee spirit and the bee's floating now like floating up regular but it half of his body is still going but 
But so I knew it was dead and it was his spirit. But it looked happy at this point now. And it was this wind or no no first, first this this rain this rain comes pouring down from like almost as if I'm seeing this through a like like a a, a screen or something and off the screen off the side of the screen this rain comes pouring down at an angle and I've seen this before so I knew and I remembered when I saw it or that I had seen it before in the dream and I knew that this was rain from God and I was like at, but at first I was like where'd that rain come from that was weird so the rain's pouring down diagonal onto this bee and it continues to pour down on the bee for a while and then it changed into wind but it was weird because I could see it wasn't just like you know normally you could see wind blowing because you see other things blowing no like this i could actually see the wind like a physical manifestation of this wind and it was blowing on the, the bee and and then it like took the bee like it almost like it directed and carried the bee off into the woods and back into the woods and the bee went off into the woods with its hands raised up like like it was praising. So I was like, all right, that was weird. And after that happened, after the bee went off into the woods, um, like praising with the wind blowing with it, then the bear, like I was still looking at this bear, and but then the bear changed into a woman. So then the woman comes into my room and as the woman comes into my hotel room, she begins to, she's saying something about her husband. And I don't remember exactly what she was saying, but meanwhile, the whole time I'm like thinking like, like what the heck, why is this bear in my, in my, in my um, room right now? Like I'm trying to think like, do I act like it's not a bear? You know, do I just kind of, go along with this so it doesn't try to eat me because I know this is not really a woman because it was just a bear a few minutes ago but and so like all this internal thought is just going on in my head and the woman's talking going off about something about her husband and then uh, and then I started thinking I realized I have money in my room and but I wanted to go take a shower, but I was like, I, know, I don't want to go in the shower because if I go in the shower, she might steal this money. So I, I went and counted my money real quick and it was $336. So remember, $336. And um, I was I noticed I noticed that there was a safe. So I was like, all right, I'm going to put this money in a safe while she's on um, before I go get in the shower. But instead of taking a shower. Like I still just felt threatened by this this woman being in, in my room. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to leave the room, go out in the hallway and try to find um, who one of my best friends. That's like a sister to me. So so I leave the room. But then after I leave the room, the woman's following me, the, the bear lady, she's following after me and. Like I'm, I knew to keep my distance, so I'm keeping my distance, and she's still kind of behind me the whole time, and I just kind of like kept a, an eye, knowing that she was there. And I get to this this room. I walk past this room that's a gym, and I could see through. There was a big open window to see into the gym, and I knew that my my friend, that's like a sister to me, is um in this room, and um. I like wait. I, I ended up seeing her there, so I'm like waving at her because I was trying to tell her that this lady's here, that this crazy lady, um, is is here, and and I knew that she would knew know who I was talking about once I told her, and I see her walking towards me, so I'm like waving her down, trying to like make hand signals and stuff, telling her that this lady's here. And I thought she sees me because she looks directly at me, but she just keeps walking past me. And on the 
other side of the window. And I'm like, I know she had to see me. Like, there's this big clear window here. I'm standing right in front of her. She even looked at my eyes, and but she just clearly missed me and kept walking. So I'm like, the whole time trying to get her attention. And, um, but she just, she was like working out or whatever and just never noticed me the whole time. And, um, then I, I, I woke up somewhere after that. So, so what I got from this, I, you know, I did some